do or die. And he has chosen Norse to be the final stand. Will he succeed and take this series to game three? And try to stay alive in this lower bracket? Ahura Master, bless you. Johnny Frost, 21GR, thank you very much for the follow. Will he do it? He's dropping down an early docks. Interesting move. And this is even... Uh, huh. Maybe he's hoping to get some some early... early. I don't know. Docks this early is never... Is never, never really the best play. Because if you think about it... You're getting up this docks, but it's an unproductive resource right now. You don't have the wood to train anything from it. You don't have uh, the ability to train a, a fishing boat. So holding off and waiting a couple more seconds to get up a fishing boat is probably the best thing you can do. And instead now um, he's going to be dropping villagers because he doesn't have enough food. But, but... In saying that, if he is able to get to the second age faster, his long ships are 100 wood, uh, 150 wood and 100 gold, so cheaper than the trireme. And if and if uh, you can get that early long ship out or early uh, age two fishing like fishing ship out, um, you could actually stop your opponent from getting on the water whatsoever. being said EKA is already going to the second age so if he drops up and I think he is any second now I believe um, if he moves on to put some guys on the water here we go this this wood villager is dropping down the docks and I think it'll be a while before Waddled can get to the second age and just because of this EKA is going to have the advantage. He's going to be able to get up his his, uh, his trireme out before Waddle can even do anything about it. And then control the water from that point. Waddle sees this, but I don't think he can do anything about it. Second age clicks up. So EKA probably should have uh, moved this guy to build the docks a little bit faster. But still not the end of the world. Waddle's only halfway done his, his Bronze Age. And actually, both these units cost the exact same. So 150 and 100 gold. EK is already getting some gatherers on gold. Which is just what he needs. And he's to yeah, send the rest of these guys on onto wood. Uh, handsaw also super critical in this like mono a mono battle tug of war for the water. First triring comes out. Waddles is in the Bronze Age, clicks up his own longship, probably needs to run with this fishing boat. And he is doing so. If you do run in a straight line though, the Trirem can't shoot you and will get you. So you have to dodge from side to side rather than go in a, in a straight line. Uh, second Trirem in queue. I think Waddle should be able to also get up a second. Don't get up a fishing boat, Waddle. That's not going to work. Smart EK is trying to search for a second docks, make sure that that's not going up. He knows he can't like take the docks by himself with one try room, and that'll take like three minutes. Um, this I think this is a mistake though. I think this is a mistake. This fishing boat should not have been queued up. And Waddle's not paying attention over here, so is is while EK is microing his heart out with these try reams. Oh no. Oh, so we got up the fishing boat maybe on purpose to try to heal up. But yeah, then you need to micro your... your. Not only do you need to micro your longship, but you need to also micro your fishing boat. And yeah, EK is smart enough to, to realize that that is the main... Um, main issue. Oh, no. This might be one of those things where... Uh, actually, EK doesn't have enough gold, but... 
Uh, EK might know that he can win the water just with these three triremes and not commit any more resources. Um, and same thing with Waddle. He might realize that that's it. And he is cancelling his uh, longship. So I'm hoping he puts down a production facility. Love it. You, re you realize you lose the water. Don't overcommit. Don't continue to, to waste resources. Um, ooh. Waddle will even come near with a nice raid. And that's going to be great because EK is going to try to put as much resource into the water to make it uh, worth his while. And that includes a second docks. That includes... Uh, fishing boats galore so he's going to have this like period of time where there's no production facilities for uh for ek and waddle's even going for uh, uh for stone although now that he sees the the war dogs uh he has put down a barracks of his own so the docks goes down for waddle he can always reclaim the water later Right? A sneaky dox is still a, a great choice. Um, so I'm not worried about him there. Uh, and these these war dogs, you know? 100 food to stop your opponent from gathering like 100 uh, wood. Knock him off his, his resources. Really solid trade. Alright. Let's see here as well. We got double barracks production. So we're going to see some spearmen come out. Hopefully some throwing axemen soon. Ooh. ooh. And EK is actually shooting Waddled from the from the shoreline. Oh, look at this. Waddled sees this going on. I'm sure he's going to be directing his units all the way around back onto here. Really smart stuff. Alrighty. Let's see. What's Waddled's game plan right here? He's got two guys on stone. He's going to go for stone. EK smartly allocating a lot more guys onto stone to make sure that he can get up his second TC faster. Uh, villager count 29 to 25 so not not the end of the world EKA can drop down a second town center anytime now and oh man the hunting dogs means <laughs> means that EKA can actually kill these uh, war dogs really easily and the second town center goes down over here to protect this gold mine huh it really does look like both these players have like only a single gold that they can that is like really safe for them uh, so gold looks like it's going to be an issue in this game going forward double throwing axeman production which is good waddle has enough stone in the bank to get a second town center just needs a lot more wood and that's going to be coming any second now See village count 28 to the 32. And let's see, third docks coming down for EK. Really wants to take advantage of this. And where is he putting his his triremes? All along the front side of Waddle's uh, base. Surprise didn't want to put it in the corners. Waddle's pushing onto this hunt. He's gonna try to knock. EK off this hunt. EK still is only on this one bar barracks. Um, nothing else here to defend this push. So if, if Waddle can get some good damage in, that's uh, going to be very helpful. Only only one dock's being used to produce these fishing boats. I think that's a small oversight. Ooh, watch outposts being queued up here. Miss rallying here from from Waddle, but uh, he is getting up his his town center, his second town center, also protecting his gold. Like this, I really like this. Not only gold, like he's also got a really nice berry bush, some some wood, and a stone mine. So everything he he needs. This is the very juicy uh, spot that we want to see. And again, EK unfortunately queuing up only. Fishing boats from one spot. Even though he has three. He's got three docks. Okay. So. Second production facility coming down from EKA. The boom has been strong with this one. 45 villagers. 46 to 35. Uh, Waddled also only. Oh no he's going to age three. I didn't see this. 
I wonder what he's going to try to do in H3. I wonder what he's trying to do in H3. Go to... Uh, he can get a third town center. Help him boom that way. EKA is also going to H3. This is the most macro heavy game I've ever seen. I didn't know we were playing on Arabia. Uh, stables coming out from EKA. Triple stables. Waddle's also going to be in H3 so he can get out his own horseman. Who I think might be better than Padromos. But correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Swash Plus being taken out. But EKA is doing a great job trying to get good map vision. Let's check out uh, his map vision. Sorry. EK. Yeah, he has he knows every new time that Waddle tries to go around the coast. So he's gonna have a a really good view of when that happens. Uh, third town center can be dropped at any point from Waddle. Would love to see him do that. Skinning up an armory, getting up a stable stables. Um, see village count forty one villagers to fifty seven. Does have a small raiding force. Although there's not many exposed villagers here for for EK. Everything's pretty much within town center range, guard tower range. Um, or is protected by like some small army. Hopefully, yeah, Waddle doesn't lose this for free. Unfortunately, might be focusing a little bit too much on, on the micro here of his army movements. And not enough on villager production and, and second TC. Nice. EKA bringing his trireme onto the coastline just to, to be a nuisance to these units that are not very close. Padromos coming out from EK, so we switch into an all cav Greek comp. And the Raiders are gonna be up for a rude awakening soon. Double armoring before a third TC. Can't say I approve. Third TC of EKA going down. Super solid for a market line. Although normally you'd probably put your market line up here, right? So that you have, uh, like, it'll be your market line that gets pressured rather than your TC, which has 20 HP, for, uh, 20 population for you. But, we will see. Still small raiding forces here for Waddle. Oh my god, the disrespect. EK has built the docks on Waddle's side of the map. I want to see him build some merchant transports. There it is. He's building some merchant transports, baby. Who needs a market when you got merchant transports? I think it's the first time we've seen that. <laughs> Although, I think I think Waddle might be rallying to this corner just like not because he's seen this, but because like that's where he needs to uh, rally to make sure that he doesn't lose his uh, uh, his units. But this is an excellent pickup. Second TC deleted by EK. EK is probably like, why are you back here? What are you doing? Third TC being created over here. Um, unfortunately, EK's siege workshops are definitely going to be spotted. Or I hope they're going to be spotted. Axeman champion, uh, throwing Axeman champion in queue. But the army size. Population, 157. Um, for EK. And it's moving across the map. 14 Padromos. And nothing here to defend. It's just uh, villagers sitting here for free. What is... What is Wild going to do about this? What is Wild going to do? All these exposed villagers and he's still like just... He's still below in, in, in villager count. So this is not going to be helpful. He, 
He's still not up to three TCs, so he's not able to catch up that way. Um, I think the army of... Yeah, the small raiding force here of Waddle got picked off. He is floating so many resources, though. So much wood in the bank. As Norse, that's... Uh, that's unacceptable. You should be able to throw down your barracks units, uh, throw down like production facilities very quickly. Um, these Pajomas are coming in just to do the final blow, I think, to the economy of Waddle. There's nothing in this army other than five spearmen that can defend against this. And yeah, this is this is the Norse. He is switching to horsemen though. He is switching to horsemen, but EK is going for a, a more um, standard army composition of Hoplites and Toxodi. So although this is going to be cleaned up by the spearmen and the horsemen, I think. Oh, and I think what is this? Oh, he's getting up a mark line on this side of the map. So he took out the TC, and he's getting a mark line for himself. 54 villagers to the 78. Oh, man. Yes, we're going to have some more games later on today. Uh, hopefully, Poseidon and Cool Cat. Not sure if anybody else wants to play. Creaky, is, uh, are you and Madlib going to play? Ooh, the market line gets found out from these resources of, uh, from these villagers of Waddle. Who are sitting idle so seven of these 56 villagers sitting idle that is not a, a good thing and EK is moving across the map with these units here with uh, these ones over here unfortunately stop moved and because he stopped oh no, what is what is model doing he's just running into the meat grinder I think he clicked on a single unit EK though, yeah, he, I think he selected all of his military and then stopped move that military unit. Um, although, that means they didn't need half of his army to defeat Waddle just because of how, how much the population difference is. And I think that's going to be it. EK takes it. Takes it conv in convincing fashion on Coastal. Really clean build. Let's see, how much uh, gold does this thing get? 46 gold. Is that good? I can't tell if that's good. I think I think going from one side of the map, like over here, to the to the other side of the map would have probably been better, but... Yeah, EK doing, doing great work.